From Las Vegas, Sandy Castell and Friends. Good morning, Las Vegas, and welcome to the Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. We are here this Thursday morning. Uh, with a lot of special guests. We are sponsored by Resort State International, Salvation Army, Smith's Food and Drug, George L. Stewart for insurance you don't have to die for die to collect, Tony May, attorney at law, Royal Cleaners on Flamingo and Durango. What about Byron and Byron? What happened to him? And Mexico. Byron Mills, yes, of Mills and Mills, we yes. We just did a commercial for these guys. Boy, I'd say that was marvelous. This is Chef Michael. If people might have forgotten me. No, how could you forget me? Uh, I didn't forget I, you. I, no, I, honey, I know you <laughs> haven't forgotten me. And we got our buddy Tim over here, my good friend, the uh, the martial artist uh, from mixed uh, martial mixed artist, martial right. artist. Mixed, mixed. What am I going to do when you leave? Who am I going to play off of? Who am I going to have some fun with? Who are you going to bring in here? Don't bring no soup can in here. <laughs> Don't bring no soup can. I'm telling you right now. We had to tell her right that stuff. Go ahead, honey. Well, you know, Michael, we also have with us uh, Johnny Stewart. Oh, Yo, Johnny. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning, Johnny Stewart. We love Johnny Stewart. We love you, Johnny right. boy. Well, we have some great guests today. We've got um, Christy Love. Oh. Hi, Christy. Hi, how are you? It's great yeah. to be here. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of energy in here. You yeah, look girl. fabulous, yeah. darling. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at all those colors. You look great. Well, thank yeah, you. Thank great. you. And I can tell you've got a lot of spiritual energy. A lot of spiritual you. energy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and also we've got Willie Thurman. Hi, Willie. That's right. How you doing, man? This good. is Will Thurman and friends. We're in the house, and uh, it's good to be on the show. Oh, my gosh. Look at these beautiful red That's roses. So that Always Willie walk brought. in with a gift. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What a sweetheart. Thank you so much, Thank and welcome to the show. He looks like he and Sandy, they ought to go on a, a trip together. Don't you think? Look at this way they're dressed. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes. Oh, but, everybody. Well, yeah, they looks great. see tonight because, you know, we, uh, this is being televised, and naturally people go on YouTube. And you can just take a look uh, who these wonderful people that we have on the show in our dais each and every day. You'll see the beautiful Sandy Castell, the love of my life, the oxygen <laughs> that I breathe. This is the girl. He's so shy. My good friend and uh, <laughs> my buddy who I know for, geez, so many years. If you don't shut your phone off, I'm throwing you the hell out of here, buddy. <laughs> also, uh, we've got Doug Douglas. And uh, he was with us yesterday. And he brought uh, Don Burton on with him yesterday from the uh, tribute to the... Uh, temptation show and you're back again today doug hi doug how you doing yeah that was my phone that just went off sorry i've That's turned okay. it off two days in a row and both days it uh rang and uh, uh you know what you know what that's the that's the uh, nature of our lives today everywhere we go we have to have our cell phones we have to have our ipads we have to have our iphone whatever we have all this technology we travel around with and in our cars everywhere we go and people think that they can get a hold of us any time of the day Tech Texting, you know, emailing, you know, calling. So, speaking of calling, my father, Chef Michael, my father. Speaking of calling, Chef Michael. Oh, all right. Everybody can call in at 702-731-1230. 702 731 And you can win some fabulous prizes. We have some complimentary show tickets for you. John Stewart, would you like to let our guests know, our listeners out there, what tickets they have. Well, today. over at Planet Hollywood, we have Mark Savard, a tremendous comedy hypnotist. We have we've got country uh, superstars, and we have the Beatles all oh over gosh. there, seeing that. And uh, then over at the uh, quad, we have Recycled Percussion, tremendous show, drum yes, type, is spectacular, and we have the Divas with Frankie Marino. And then over at the LVH, we have the Mosaic Group, five guys that sing a cappella, yeah. and they're all on your show tomorrow. Oh, oh my gosh. All of them are going to be <laughs> here. Okay? That's going to be a full a house. <laughs> phenomenal. They'll do some entertaining for you because they don't need anything. Okay? So the fact is we have that, and we also have the Trent Carlini Elvis Show, big tribute to Elvis. Oh, and we also have the new one. Rock Vault Show, yes. the big one in the 1,400-seat main showroom. And then we also have... The three tenors, okay? <gasps> Where and is they'll that? they'll be on the show shortly, too. Oh, good. And all? then we have Jeff Civilico. And we have Jeff Civilico, and we also have the Broadway Rat Pack downtown, and uh, a lot of shows, and huh? And the right. Beatles show. And oh, the, my gosh, so I think we've got so many shows. I mean, now, ladies and gentlemen out there in Radio Land, just think about what we, John Stewart, the wonderful John Stewart from Legends in Concert, just told everybody. You know, I've been in Vegas since 1974. Years ago, it was it easy to get a comp? You knew a guy, he signed the ticket, you went into the lounge. Today, I'm going to tell you something. Go try it. Go try to get a comp <laughs> into a show. First of all, everything's a four wall. The hotels don't own the shows. That's the shows right. own the shows. That's right. You've got to go through those people to even get in through the door. 
And what we're trying to do here, and again, make it things worth your while, because we love all of you out there, and, and Sandy and I want to thank you for making this radio show the number one talk radio show in Las Vegas. That's right. So pick up the phone, dial 731-1230, and for friends of mine, dial Sicily 6 7781 <laughs> and we'll give you amnesty. Oh, my gosh, it's so funny. Well, Michael, you know, we've also got uh, an event coming up, June oh, 21st, yes. a WEMA event, and that is WEMA, Women in Music and Arts, but also we have men in our program yes. also. So it's actually women and men in music and arts. Mm -hmm. And what we are about is empowering artists of all ages through education, mentoring, and scholarships. And we invite everybody here on the show today to be with us uh, June 21st. That's going to be at Canyon Gate Estates. And Chef Michael is going to be preparing a wonderful meal right. for us. It's absolutely stunning. And that will be from 1 to 3 p.m. And if you want to find out more about it, go to our website, which is WIMA, W-I-M-A, foundation.org. And you can call and make reservations. Right. Now, here's us. the best yes. part. First of all, you're coming to our state. That's number one. Secondly, <laughs> it's open bar. We give you the wines from around the world, okay? I'm not done yet. Down, the food that I prepare, I'm going to tell you something. If I had a restaurant, you were lucky to get in. It would be jammed. I mean, the food is phenomenal. I do all the Italian cuisine of your heart's desire from meatballs, eggplant parmesan. I make it such a beautiful set out. It's incredible. The entertainment, I got the Chad Michaels Trio. That's right. Who I'm playing with tonight with David DaCosta at tonight, the... Tonight, tonight. No, I'm mean sorry. Tomorrow Friday night. <laughs> tomorrow night at <laughs> the... Uh, so, the um, what time do you go the West, on? It's the, 8 o'clock, It's Johnny. the West the Wing, Wing Cigar Lounge, Cigar and Lounge. that is on Durango, just south of Flamingo, and it's on the west side of the street. And uh, so, yeah, join us out there. They have fabulous food, right. and we're going to have the great music, you know, with, uh, with uh, Chad Michaels Trio plus David DaCosta, and his dad's going to be playing on guitar, and you're going to be playing on drums. And it's swinging. I mean, if, you, if it's all jazz. It's, it's going mean, to be fun. Um, we go there. You know, I can't, I can't play for the kid all the time. But from time to time, I go in. I said, Dave, I got you covered. I'll play for but you But now, tonight. of course, you just jumped from the, I'm not, oh, the I'm 21st going right back. to the... <laughs> I'm going right back, Sam. Watch <laughs> me. Watch how, I, watch how I bring this and back. Swing honey. back to the 21st So there's June. meatballs. It's, the, the food's going to be phenomenal. If you go to the store and you buy a hamburger at uh -huh. the Fat Burger, they want $9 for a hamburger. You don't get nothing but that and maybe a Coke that you can go back once or twice. $25 per person. All the wines from around the world you can drink. The food spectacular, the entertainment, and listen to me, everybody. Every single penny goes to the Wema Foundation to help people out there. That's just what we do. We're so excited to say, and look at Tim. Tim's over here. He's very intense today because he's getting here to fight, very and he's serious. fighting a big, uh, big white guy, and he's afraid. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's afraid. Have you seen his fights on YouTube? Oh my God! He's, all, he's, he's, you know, just five and one, right? He's had five wins. Them you know, guys were nothing. I got, I'm 62. I could have took him out in 30 seconds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You talk big. I talk big. Hey, I'm Italian. I got heat under these hands. You know, I got to ask you, Chef Michael. Yes, my love. Um, you know, speaking of your food and how great it is. Do you have a special recipe for us this morning? No. Yes, of course. Well, then you're fired. <laughs> wow. Again. Wow. <laughs> John, you got a job for Chef Michael? Yes, I do. Okay. I mean, what, what should you make for me, you mean? Uh, yeah, John, what would you like? I, I don't know exactly <laughs> all those different foods. Well, maybe well, Christy Love has something she'd like to ask you to make for her. What do you like, Christy? I, I make great neck bones, girl. What's your special, what's your special, I some, you know, your favorite I love Italian. healthy food. So whatever you can get that's Italian and healthy, I would love. Make it a Christy special. All right, oh, that all sounds right. good. Well, let me give you a great recipe. It's a thing called Chicken Romano. Now, mm. everybody, I want you to listen that to this. That sounds good. Yes, That'll great work. fantastic. It's one of my favorite dishes. And here's the best part. This is the only dish that you make that has no onion and absolutely no garlic. Oh, my gosh. No garlic. 19th well, that'll be good for Dr. Perry. Yes, Dr. Perry. We, uh, we love you. The doc, he can't hear because he's out at the... Oh, zone. yeah, they have their app. We have their app. They That's have right. the KLAB he must be listening app. In. So the Grossos listen are listening in, in right, right now because they, they get up every morning are. before they count their money That's right. and they listen to us. So you're going to prepare this yes. without garlic without and garlic. without this onions. Is, this is called Chicken Romano. 1972, I'm singing at a place called Salvatore's Restaurant in Philadelphia. And in between the breaks, I sat down and I'm eating these delicious, absolutely marvelous, uh, this chicken. And I said, yo, Sal. And in Italian, I asked him, how do you make this? And he wouldn't tell me. Anyway, a couple weeks goes by and uh, 
he convinced me to show me what he did. You go into the kitchen. Now, a couple of days ago, I talked about the fried the chicken. Anytime you fry chicken, everybody, you've got to save the oil. You strain it and you save the oil. That's the hook of the chicken. He said, now you get a chicken. He says, you, you cut it up, you dip it in flour, and you fry it. You put a lid on it. Now, the reason why you put a lid as you're frying the chicken is that the steam cooks it straight through. Once you take the lid off the chicken, everybody, the flour starts to be crispy. Because many times people fry a chicken, and then when you bite into the, the bone, it's red. It's not done. So you always put a lid, and then what you do is you stab the chicken with the fork. And stab it? You stab it. I'm easy. I love doing that stuff. I was raised stabbing. What if it dies? It's already dead, John. And what you do is you, when I say you, 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 you pierce the chicken, I say pierce. It's more uh, than yes. stab. Well, my neighborhood, we call stab. Okay, what you do is you pierce the chicken and you yeah. press on the leg. And if you see red that comes out, then that means the chicken's not done. You're in trouble. That's right. So what happens when you see white coming out, that means the chicken's done, and then you let it be crispy. Now you empty the oil out. Save the, save the grease, everybody. Don't throw it out. Put it in the coffee can. My grandmother used to use Maxwell House, so she had that gigantic Maxwell House can. I remember and she that. strained it because the oil is the flavor is the taste. Right. You add Now you put the chicken back in the pan, and it's sizzling. Oh, boy, I'm, I'm so hungry. Look at John. I, everybody, John Stewart is just looking with bated breath. He has a minnow hanging around Chomping his nose. A bit okay, here. so what you do, I, I, I'm going to wrap it up, honey. I'm, I'm working as fast as I can. What you do <laughs> is you fry the chicken, you add butter, you add salt, you add pepper, you add parsley. Here comes it. Ready, everybody? Yep. You add sherry wine. Uh. Sherry wine, folks. A cup of sherry wine, mm. and then what happens is... It's a flavor that you will, it's called chicken romano. No garlic, no onion. It is absolutely incredible. And Sandy, thank you for allowing me on your show <laughs> to tell everybody about my stuff. Because I'm a, just a grain of sand here. I am nothing. Oh, my gosh. I'm a humble guy. Well, if you're just tuning in now, you're listening to the Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with yeah, Chef yeah. Michael. Yeah, yeah. We are here Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And we are going to take a brief pause for our sponsors. And we'll be right back with our special guests, Christy Love, Willie Thurman, and Doug Douglas. Oh, call me, lady. Call me. I want to talk to somebody. Morning and welcome back to the Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. Chef, you have your guitar out. I see. Are you going to play a song for us? Yeah, I'm going to play a song. What do you want to hear, honey? I want to hear that song about you know the forty years or the the wedding ring song. That song. Well, you know it's funny. Uh, <clears throat> I sang this for my mother and father their fiftieth anniversary, and it's called "When Your Old Wedding Ring Was New." Now this song was done about. 1906. I don't know who wrote it, but it's been around 100 years. Jimmy Roselli did a phenomenal arrangement on this song. And I want you to listen to the words, everybody out there, because today nobody listens to the words of songs. But back in the 40s, you know, when you went there, I'm confessing that I love you. I'm confessing that you love me too. Beautiful songs like that. Or dream when you're feeling blue. That was the modern era, 1947. Most of the people that listen, they said, who the hell's the modern era? But if you go back those days, it was absolutely beautiful. And there's a song called When Your Old Wedding Ring Was New. When your old wedding ring was new I could dream as the dreams come true Listen to the words, folks. I remember with pride as you stood by my side. What a beauty for picture you made as my bride. Even though silver crowns your hair. I could still see the gold ringlets there. Loves of me, loves old flame. When the day I change your name, when your old wedding ring was new. 
When your old wedding ring was new, was new, was new, was new, was new. Yeah. yeah Thank you. Thank you. That was my family Michael. outside listening and clapping. Uncle Frank and Tess, thank you so much. Am I not jamming again? Well, you know, we've got a lot of entertainers here today with us. We've got Christy Love Brooks. Hi, Christy. How, How you are doing you? Again? I'm just doing fabulous. And I know you've got such a nice aura around you. Oh, you, know, you do. You, so you, you just got all this energy that I just, uh, I can feel coming from you. Oh. And it's so nice. Um, you know, what have you, so, you know, you've been in the business for a long time. Yes. Uh, what, have, what are some of the accomplishments you've, you've had? Well, I guess most people will remember me as one of the platters. I was on the strip for over 10 years at Sahara, and then we moved to Planet Hollywood with the platters, the Coasters and Drifters show, mm -hmm. and it turned to the platters, Coasters and Marvelette show. Yeah. And uh, so we perf I performed there, and then, of course, I've been, as a platter, I've been all over uh, Hong Kong, Singapore. We've been, you know, all over the world. And then I do my own thing. And um, so basically... One of, that's one of my accomplishments, but a lot of people haven't realized yet that I'm also a, a, a professor. I'm an educator. I, have I know a, you've got something like five degrees. I oh have five gosh. degrees. I have a doctor of education, three masters, and a bachelor's degree. And when did you find time to do that while you were doing all this performing around the world? And raise two children as a single mom. Oh, and <laughs> Don't forget that part. <laughs> you know, you just do it. You just, you know, I, I, tell, I tell everybody, I say, hey, set your priorities. Don't limit yourself and just do it. You know, the last master's I had, I was uh, working as a principal at school, and, and in order to, for me to get the money that everybody else was getting, I had to go back and get a science, master of science, which was administration uh -huh. master. Uh -huh. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to, I had the two kids at the time, and I said, I'm going to, at this point, just follow through and do it. So I did it in a year. I just went and did it. And so you just do what you have to do, you know, and you go with God, and there it is. That's great. You know, a lot of times I think uh, young people wonder, you know, when they hear somebody say that they've got all these accomplishments later on in life they wonder well how could they do all that stuff and you know and uh, but the thing of it is is it's almost like we have different lifetimes a little bit you know as we go through our life we have our you know our 20s that we're doing certain things our 30s that we're doing other things and our 40s and, and and then each time like you said you just do it you make a goal you set it and you do it one step at a time. That's right. And there's a season for everything. Yeah. So we go through those different seasons, and that's, that's right. what's happened with my yeah. life. That's so. wonderful. And you're having kind of a comeback now in your career. It is a comeback in the sense that um, um, I say I've never left, but, you know, people <laughs> <laughs> I know I've been around. But, that's right. But what has happened is is that I have begun to rebrand myself because having uh, – I fell off the stage at the Rio for about uh, a year and a half. I've been on medical leave and working those those issues through, and I thank God I'm oh all God. well. All yeah. is good. Mm -hmm. God is good. So I've got – come through and I've rebranded myself and come back with Christy Love Brooks, which is my, my own name now, so that people can be more aware of me as the artist because I always stood out with the groups. I was always prominent, right. but now I get a chance to push that name as well. That's also, that's good. And, and also, um, you know, doing these different things, uh, learning different things, and, and kind of having a comeback, you're actually getting introduced to a whole new audience out there because uh, there's a lot of students that are coming up and they're listening to this music that uh, was around when their parents were around. That's right. And they're reinventing it and re-singing it, you know, and doing new versions of it. So uh, actually, you're getting introduced to a new audience. I can't tell you how many people have come into the Platter Show and said to me, my mother made me listen to that music. And these were like 20, 30 year olds, right. young That's people, right. yeah. and they kept that music going on. And um, I'm fortunate and blessed because I have a young man and, and uh, son who has been in the business. He did actually most of the tracks on there. Oh, okay. And he actually, you know, we wrote, co wrote a song called All Over the World, uh -huh. which is a peace song about spreading peace all over the world. Can we hear a little bit of that right now? Yes, yeah, I can't play the whole play. thing, but let's, let's play a little yeah. bit of that, okay? And, and he, he did a wonderful job of pulling, pulling that together. Okay. And now. Uh, now he is, he graduated valedictorian at New York Art Institute of Film. Oh my so now he's doing my film. So now I have a, <laughs> I have a filmmaker. So I'm moving. Yeah, he's great. That's and good. And so he, so we put a, we're putting the All Over the World video should be released out sometime this summer because okay. we've done most of the footage. And uh, the Gonna Love You More video, which is the Barry White remake, which he did, is on YouTube right now and on my website at christylovebrooks.com so that people can tune into that. And it's a great little piece. It's a great piece. But it brings in the young and the youth. That's is right. what you're saying. 
everything and keeping it common. Well, I think as here. artists, we are forever young. And yes. I know if John Stewart was here yes. right now, he'd be saying, that's why I'm doing that show. Because well, doing, he's, doing, he's doing, doing, a doing a show, yeah, forever young. We're doing you a know. show, too. Over the hill and shout out. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, as, as artists, you know, uh, we, we keep ourselves young because we're passionate about what we're doing. And when we're doing our art, we shine. And we glow. That's right. And that's what people pick up on. And that keeps us forever young. So let's listen to this song all around the world. All over the world. All over the world. All over the world. yourself you have come out with a song that can be played in all of the new That's you right. know trendy places that are playing like Hakkasan Calvin and Harris will steal that one all yeah, the dance yeah, tunes that is awesome. and then you got the DJs that can play this song oh my yeah. gosh and they are hot 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 right now yes and yeah. uh that's fabulous. I mean, it made us all want to get up and dance. You That's know? awesome. That's awesome. It is good to know because we, when we visualize it, we, the things had started breaking out in Europe with people, all the people trying to find peace and make their own way. Right. And it was a way for us to see how we could spread peace all over the world. And I, and I have to mention this because I'm hoping to get a million signatures on my website. It's called the Peace Declaration uh -huh. so that on New Year's Day for Peace, we could, at 12 o'clock all over the world and at 3 o'clock Eastern time, everybody will will actually light up a candle or light up for peace so that we can get, get, get people to vibe on the same vibe and have, hopefully bring some peace to this planet. That's yeah. great. That's yeah. great. I so now, see. you know, can, yeah. do you have, did you bring a CD for us to give to somebody I out sure there? did. Okay, so the next, very next caller that calls in at 702-731-1230, that's 702-731-1230, can get a copy of this CD, which is all around... Cheers. Did I do the right one? This All one over the world. All over the world. And here's that CD for our listeners out there, for our viewing audience that's going to be watching this tonight on YouTube. Don't, for, don't forget, you can go to YouTube.com forward slash Sandy Castell, and you'll be able to see the, uh, all of the videos up from our show that we filmed during the day because we've got uh, Misha in... Misha, hi, how you doing? Hi. How you doing? And, and ask, actually, you look fabulous today, and she Thank says her you. sister's so coming in for a wedding, and so she so had, to get, had to get it all fixed up, so you look fabulous. So anyway, I think we have a caller here that just won this. Uh, who's the caller? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's a personal okay. phone oh, call. Oh, it's a personal man. phone call. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, you know, well, that's BS, yeah. pal. Anyway, get the, off the phone. The very next caller that calls us about this CD can get this Christy Love CD, Songs of Love and Peace. So your your company is called Love Star Enterprises. And what kind of company numbers. is this? Christy? Well, it kind of goes into what I would say. It's a film company. It's a, it's, it's a publishing film because I'm also a songwriter. So I have all the elements of that. Honey, we got to yeah. get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 we do. Yeah. And, uh, and so my son, he's, uh, like I said, he's now a, a, an actual filmmaker he's going to do films that's great and so we're going to do films and music videos and, and now everything. are the films going to be documentaries are they going to be like film movie films it's that, going to be a, it's going to be all of that it's okay. going to be music videos and he also has already has written a short film and he's getting ready to write his, you is know, his he right page. here locally in las vegas he is he? locally here now okay but he lives in new york so ah. he's back and forth between new york and vegas mm -hmm. so he can you know so he's working it for me in both uh directions okay great we do have a caller who's that caller 
Hi, it's Steve. How's everybody doing? Hi, Steve. How are you? You get to win this wonderful CD by Christy Love, Songs it's, of Love and Peace. It's a beautiful song. Tell Christy she's doing some great things out there. The world needs more music like that to bring people together. And That's right. How are you, you know, Steve, we've got to go to a break. Are you going to hold on a second sure, for Sure, I'll hold on. Okay, great. Uh, if you're just tuning in now, you're listening to Sandy Castell Friends and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael here. Nobody cares! Every day, Monday through Friday on KLAV. <laughs> and we're going to be right back with a message from our sponsors, and then we'll be talking to Steve, our caller, and our special guest, Christy Love, Willie Thurman, and Doug Douglas. We're going to Jolet's house for Saturday for dinner. <laughs> Perko, you better make something nice. <laughs> and started to cry. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna love you more. Back to Sandy oh, Castell yeah. Show with Jeff Michael. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have to cut that short. I, oh my gosh, that is such a beautiful remake. And that is this from the CD Christy Love, Songs of Love and Peace. And you know, Steve, are you still holding on there? Yes, I well, am. Hold on, Hi, Steve. My heart there. You, hello, Michael. Hello, everybody. That is and great. I'm a big fan of. Can I'm we also Italian, get you know, Steve? Soul music. Steve, we've course, also. Steve, hold yeah. on just a second. We've also got another caller. We're going to have you both on at the same time, if you don't mind. We've got, um, That's fine. We've got Dr. Perry and Diana. Okay. Dr. I'll Pepper. make it quick then, Sandy. I do want to come down to the station. I'll just buy it cash. I want to buy a ticket at 9 and go to this WEMA event. Oh. So I'm going to come down to the station one day at 10 o'clock. When you guys are done with the show, I'll just give you the cash and buy the ticket. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. that's fabulous. No, Steve, okay, I'm glad you called you, because I'm listening to that, that music. I'm, I'm a jazz. I, I go for jazz. But I was just listening to Christy Love, and she's going, she, she said, Kimir, she stuff. went, Kimir, I, I maybe, <laughs> what, huh? the tip of Italy is only 61 miles from the tip of North Africa, so maybe I got a little Barry wide. <laughs> well, great, because I, she, uh, she going, and I'm listening to her album, going, come here, baby. And just this morning, I got up, and Sandy says to me, come here, baby. <laughs> and, and, and it's true, hey, Steve, hey, this hey, is that's true. too much information. No, hold it on. And I went over, I, and I got a smile on my face, and I went over to her, and she went, Give me your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for calling in. We appreciate it. Okay, is Dr. Dr. Perry? Yes. Hi, Dr. Perry. How you guys doing? Doing good. You are down in Lock and Clear in Northern California. Good. You're, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. You, where are you, in Oceanside? No, we're oh. in uh, Galt. Oh, Galt. Where's that? It's uh, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> well, you have, must be it's having a good time. Sacramento. There. It's near oh. Sacramento. Oh, okay, great. So, it's how, kind of a uh, horse and cattle country. Oh, wow. So I tell him what Dr. Perry, I said to Dr. Perry, I said, Doc, would you feel depressed? Because he's retired. One of the greatest brain surgeons in the world. And <laughs> he's, he, I love him. He, they're our best friends. I said, when you're depressed, what do you do? He says, Mike, I get up every morning. I open my savings account. And I go, it's a wonderful day like today. <laughs> I could kiss everybody. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. I'm, I'm having a good time. <laughs> so, yeah. so, Dr. Perry. That, that's, uh, exactly what, that's exactly what I did. That's the <laughs> <one yesterday>. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, Christy God. says she's also got a CD for you and Diana. Yes. Okay? Yes. Oh, for calling no, in. Diane said, he goes, Diane said, what are you calling in for a CD for? She goes, go buy one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Perry's got us recess money from school. He's got money that you will not believe. <laughs> Yesterday it was raining money, and I was really happy. <laughs> well, Doc, we want you to know, Sandy and I want you to know, that we love you and Diana, and it's such a blessing and a privilege 
to have these friends. And Sandy's looking at me and say, let me say something. No, 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 no. Is that all saying, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and we only well, joke with you. We kid with you. And, you know, and we thank you. And again, we thank all the listeners, like Steve, who's a faithful fan. I guess this kid has no life. He's got nothing to do but listen up. <laughs> no, I'm only teasing. Listen, um, <laughs> Dr. Perry, thank you so much for calling in. We, we appreciate you, it. And we'll give you well, this uh, there's, CD there's, as soon as you get back. Thing, there's one thing about it uh, with your show. He goes, wherever we go, we can just pop on our phone, hit the app, and you're on the phone right there every morning. That's you know, I'm right. glad you brought that up, because as soon as you hang up the phone, I want Sandy to tell everybody out there about the app and how to do it. Yeah. Well, all you yeah. do, yeah, you know, Dr. Perry, all you have to do is you go to KLAV 1230am.com, you go online, and you can do it right from your phone, go to KLAV 1230am.com, and then they have the apps listed right there, and you just get your app, I think they have a couple different options depending on which phone you have, so you just push the app button and it'll download it to your phone, and then all you have to do, wherever you go, which is a perfect example, in California, there he, there they are, and they're listening to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show, isn't oh, that exciting? Yeah. How about the girl that we're going to go cook for, she's out there listening in, Julia as Ross, <laughs> Julia Ross, we, we love you, Julie. We hope your hand know. feels better. I really mean that. So when you're done, and because if I come and cook for you, you got to do the dishes. I ain't cleaning. <laughs> What'd you say, Dr. Perry? We went, we went to an Italian restaurant last night. It was called Pietro's in uh, Budai, uh -huh. California. And uh, and it, it, it was just a nice little place, and the food was, was very good, and I had a meatball sandwich. <laughs> and and, and I, like I tell you, I love, I love meatball sandwiches. But uh, this one didn't compare with your meatballs. That's because you love me, Doc. That's the only reason. <laughs> you get a, and you get a free meal every time you come to the house. Well, Dr. Yeah, Perry. And, you, and your meatballs are made with love. These were made for a restaurant. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. We appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, Say hi to Diana, and we love you guys. And we'll see you this Friday when you get back, good. okay? Thank you, Doc. Okay. God bless you. All right. Be thanks careful. a lot. Be careful. Drive okay. safely, Doc, and remember me in your will. Bye-bye. Hi, -bye. Uh, okay, I will. Well, you know, Christy, I know we were just talking, starting to talk a little bit about, you know, your organization and everything, what you're doing and all the filming and stuff. Just tell us briefly a little bit about what the projects are. You said you've got a couple of different uh, musicals you've got in the works. Right. I've written about um, four musicals, actually, all in total. And uh, one was my dissertation, Dreams. And the one that I, we were discussing was the fact that uh, we did a tribute to Count Basie, right. a, young, a lady named Barbie uh, Evans. She we did a tribute to him. And uh, they asked me to write the play, so I wrote the treatment for the play. And uh, his son came in, and uh, Michael LaFleur, who was with work with Celine Dion, right. and a few people. And so this is in the works right now of getting uh, some sponsors for um, the Count Basie story. Okay, it's actually great. a treatment. It's not like his real story, way, the way I wrote it to get, give it the drama. Right. I wrote elements of the history and then it made a storyline out of it which Good. is great so people can go to your website christylovebrooks.com which is k-r-i-s-t-y love like it is l-o-v-e brooks b-r-o-o-k-s dot com well thank you so much for being here on sandy castell uh, thank you friends. so I much love, i really I share with you and, yeah. and chef mike thank, thank you. you thank you thank, thank you. you thank you sandy. and uh we've got willie james thurman and he said just call me will, call me will. <laughs> just call me will will you got a lot of photos here of a lot of different shows you've been in Oh, my gosh. And uh, you didn't bring any CDs today for us to listen to, but uh, you've got a lot of photos here. Look at all these shows. Ch what, what is it that, you know, you're working on right now, and why do they call you the Quincy Jones of Las Vegas? Well, and I always thought that was an honor. A lot of time I've, you know, been on cruises and at the airports, and people say, hey, Quincy Jones. I said, no, no. <laughs> and so this one cruise guy kept saying, no, you are Quincy Jones. I said, okay, give me a drink then. <laughs> so, well, one of the things that uh, I... Uh, pride myself on uh, in Las Vegas. I'm originally from Chicago. And I saw there was a need to put shows together with local talent. So I've, you know, over the years put a lot of, you know, shows together. One of my last big shows was I did a, a Lifetime Achievement Award for Phil Flowers and Skip Martin. I see you got them there on your yeah, poster yeah. there. And, and we've uh, had Skip Martin on the show before and Phil Flowers. Okay. So yeah, yeah. And I've had a multitude of artists on that show that paid, you know, homage to those two guys that night. Some of you guys know Lorena Perel. She came out and she killed them. I've had uh, Willie Ray the Ray Charles and Terminator, right? Uh, Frank, uh, Freddie House, Freddie Freddy House, B? Steve Benton, all yeah. these different people, and you know my favorite. Uh, I've, I've sang with on stage is Tony Braxton, and uh, of course everybody. I love Tony Braxton. Everybody yes. knows the crazy Mr. Murphy. I'm not yeah. Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. Um, Come on now, help me out. Fuccinelli. No, no. <laughs> He's got the billboards. Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin. Eddie my Griffin. man, Eddie Griffin. And uh, 
Of course, uh, as we got some more questions on, I got some more pictures, you know, to talk about. But, you know, in, in, in Las Vegas, there is definitely a need since a lot of DJs are taking over a lot of the clubs to keep live entertainment. Listen, you know, we believe on. in live entertainment. And I know believe Chef me, Michael does, too. Yes. I love that song. He's yes. a great Thank you, Will. And, yeah. you know, Willie, I had the same problem, you know, you told me. Because you do resemble uh, Quincy Jones. You're much better looking than him. But in his younger day, okay. I was very heavy. I was like 230, and I grew a beard. And I walked into the Sahara Hotel. I'm going back years, way before I met Sandy. And a woman is in the, has a beautiful mink stole. And the woman turned around. She says, you're Luciano Pavarotti. <laughs> and I says, no, I'm not. She says, yes, you are. I says, no, I'm not. I said, believe me, madam. I, I'm not Luciano Pavarotti. She said, you are. You must be. I said, believe me, I'm not. She opened up her robe. She was naked. And the minute I seen her, I went, oh, so let me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Joey Vespi throw Oh, out? my God. <laughs> you like that one? I like that one. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> so, Will, you play a lot of instruments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, my, my love is percussion. You know, uh -huh. I, I play a lot of uh, uh, different, uh, you know, African and Latin Cuban percussion instruments. But I started out as a drummer. And about four or five years ago, I started seeing these young cats coming up. I mean, it was doing stuff that you can only do, like, five layers of, of drums, you know, over right. and over in one guy. Plays. I said, right. you know what, I better switch instruments. So I uh, got on the Congos. I like them very much. It gives you a lot of freedom when you can insert, take out, insert, take out. And, uh, you know, I get to move a little closer to the stage, too. So I like so, so you, you have, um, who, who do you like? Um, <laughs> you, you have a famous grand grandfather. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you want to tell us a little bit about him? Sure. Count uh, Basie. <laughs> no, Count Basie. Uh, for most people who are old blues fans, I don't know if you guys remember the name of Muddy Waters. Oh, Muddy's yeah, the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah, baby. Well, I just happened. This is my picture when I was five years old. Oh, and my gosh. Back then, they had station wagons that they drove. put their And they put the yeah, pictures on. And they go on. from city to city. So he used to tell me a, He's your a lot of stories. Yeah, that's, that's me. Oh, wow. my gosh. Yeah. What a So the music is in your veins. Yes. 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 In your veins. Yeah, yes. you know, and I, I used to see his band practice in the basement. I just said, you know what? I, 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 I like that. This is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, at a young age, which is, uh, that's my little young age picture there. Dressing up back then. Huh? So, so when is your next event, Will? Oh, next event. Um, for those of you guys who have been following Skip Martin on his Facebook, he's getting married. And we're doing a dedication show for him. And I believe that's July 17th. Also, Sherry Gordy uh, is um, doing a dedication to uh, my good friend Oscar D, who was... Um, and next movement and he's doing a show and we're gonna do some comedy so we're putting together oh, okay, little comedy cool. routines well right. willie let me tell you yes. since you're a conga <clears throat> player yes the grosso's lisa grosso has a set of kungas okay she just bought them and okay. we're having my birthday party there <laughs> so july, 5th, I gonna july 5th july <laughs> 5th okay. at t fox i invited them we're gonna have the, the cast is going to be phenomenal in fact i got a, I got i have a security at the door i'm gonna have tim <laughs> he thought he got invited as a guest. I said, no, I'm going to pay you. Just hang at the door. <laughs> and I got an invitation in my hand. Oh, and it's only my special friends, okay? Well, and we love you, and I want you to be there. The food is going to be phenomenal. The sure. entertainment unsurpassed. July 5th, kid. Thank you, sir. I want you to play your heart out. Tape your fingers up, kid, because you're going to be swinging, man. Okay, chicken Romano. Willie, right? Willie, what's, yeah, your, you got it. Willie what's your website? Actually, I have a Facebook page, and I okay, find that with, with what I'm doing now, the Facebook page works a lot better. It's Will Thurman and Friends, and okay. you can go there, just type my name in and all you know, my uh, good friends and associates and the th different things that I'm doing. I try to keep update on that. Okay, uh, great. Yeah. We're going to take a little break now. This is Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael, and we are here with Christy Love and Willie Thurman and Doug Douglas, and uh, we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Yeah, baby. Come here, baby. Yeah. Honey. Sorry, Will. I gotta go. How good a friend you can be. Each day through my window, I watch her as she passes by. I say to myself, you're such a lucky guy. Such a lucky guy. Such a lucky guy. Welcome back to the Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. Doug, that was uh, the tribute to the Temptation Show, which go is going to be on this Saturday Correct. at the, uh, is that at the Viva Las Vegas Theater? That's at the new Viva Las Vegas Event Center. Yes. And, uh, 
what they've done, uh, this was once moved in, uh, used in a movie, I think it was The Godfather, uh, and it was just a vacant warehouse, and they have turned it into the plushest supper club you can imagine, back to the days of the Copacabana and uh, uh, Coconut Grove. Uh, it's, it's just, it is incredible. This it's is a really nice location. Week. It's right on Las Vegas Boulevard. Just uh, one block south from uh, Charleston. There you go. And that is this Saturday. Now, how do people find out about getting tickets for this show? Tickets at the door, or they can call uh, They can call, or they can go online for Las Vegas Event Center and set their reservations. And uh, that's a good idea. And I noticed the tickets were very, very reasonable. Uh, that's their way and our way of saying, hey, Come and take a look at this. You're going to be surprised. And as Jeannie Bray said, uh, Jeannie Bry yeah. said uh, yesterday on the show, uh, the parking is so easy. So come on, all you Summerlanders and the Seven Hills people, and uh, come say hello. Yeah, it's right smack dab in the middle of the town, That's you know. Right. So you can come from both sides all around and see the tribute to the Temptations. And, Doug, you said you had a, a, a story about uh, George Clooney when he was a kid. Well, you gave it away, Sandy. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> he didn't tell me I couldn't mention the name. <laughs> but, but <clears throat> this was, um, I had a show called The Action Faction way, way back when. Keep going. Oh, it's your phone. Go ahead. Don't worry go about ahead. Don't stop. Okay. <laughs> way, way back when. I thought John put that outside. No, John's on drugs. <laughs> I see. <laughs> and uh, we were playing a Playboy Club, uh, Playboy Resort there in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And uh, Will reminded me of this a minute ago. Uh, we got asked to go do a radio show in Milwaukee to, to plug the show and to plug the uh, new resort. Uh -huh. So we went, and uh, this little five-year-old kid kept running around, and his dad was the host, <laughs> and he kept making noise, and uh, there were a couple other celebrities on. His dad was getting mad, and finally he said, Sis, will you come in here and get George out of here? <laughs> And uh, Rosemary Clooney walked out and oh. said, come on, nephew, let's get out of here. <laughs> so that was my story about George Clooney. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. So, you know, kids, we start out young. I was four years old when I was listening to Frank Sinatra records and learning my first Frank Sinatra songs. And, and I'm sure all of us started out as kids, you know. How about you, Christy? Oh, yeah, sure. I was singing in the church and listening to music all the way from five, six, seven years old. There you go. And yeah. Will, we'll, so we saw your photos there, you know, with Muddy Waters in the background, your grandfather. Amazing. Yes. Just as Christy said, music, uh, you know, being strong in the church is where I, you know, started at. And uh, throughout life, I was just always interested in and, playing something. And, Will, we want to remind everybody that is Phil Flowers' wedding on July 17th that you're going to be uh, promoting, right? Exactly. That's Not right. Skip Not Skip Martin. Martin. Phil don't, don't, get shaky, don't get nervous there. <laughs> Sorry it's about Phil that. Flowers' wedding on July 17th. And also <laughs> Sherry Gorder with Oscar D. And at the next... Uh, and, and that's going to be coming up too, right? That's coming up. That's going to be July 12th. July 12th. Right. So we've got a couple of events that you've got coming up. And, of course, Christy, you've got your new shows coming up uh, and your new movies mm -hmm. and your... For, and your Broadway and shows CD, and all I'm kinds of things. CD right now, so look so much is going on. That's right. And Doug, of course, you, you're going to be out there at the Tribute to the Temptations, helping promote that show. And it was wonderful to have Don Bart Burton on yesterday with with you and uh, learn more about them. Can I interject for Chef Michael? Uh, one of his goombas last night said to tell him hello. And, uh, Who is it? Dick Contino. Oh, oh Dick, we got Dick, yes. Dick over here. We got, we love, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Doug. And you know what? We've got to run. I hate to say it, but another hour has zipped by. And this is Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. And we will be here tomorrow again at 9 a.m. with the Mosaic Five, all of them. And we hope you enjoy your lovely day out there. Chef Michael, you got to say anything? Yeah, we love you, Patricia Domiglico. And thank you for listening <laughs> to <laughs> us. We love you, baby. And thank tomorrow. you, Diane. And Yay. thank you, Steve, and everybody. Hey. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, he, he looks extremely young, and in fact, he's still in diapers from what I've heard. He is forever young. Well, I want to thank you, Johnny Stewart, for being here, too, every morning, Monday through Friday, and bringing all these wonderful performers yes, thank onto you, the John. show for Thank you, John. We love us. you, buddy. So, thank Peter. You. Thank you. So, Peter, if you were going to give advice to uh, a, a, somebody just starting out in the industry, what would that number one thing be? School. Well, you know, this is something we heard here today, twice already, and I used to hear it on the Johnny Carson show. He said, you got to love what you do. Right. Find what your passion is and just do it and be the best at it, and then success will come. That's great. That's great. Yeah. And you have a website. 
I do. I have several at peterpavone.net, and I have uh, P A V as in Victor O N E. I have ratpacklv.com, and then I'm on Facebook all, as Peter Pavone as all those things. Lincoln. And do you tag. answer all of your questions and letters I that do. people ask you? I do. I do. And uh, yeah, and I'm on Twitter too, Pavone Peter. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, Peter, I want to thank you for being on the show again. Thank you. Thank you for bringing your music and running down and getting your CD for us. Mm -hmm. And also, Peter, Peter Ken. Pete, uh, Pete, 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 Peter Ken. I'm so He's Peter. I'm, I'm sorry. Pete. sorry. Well, John told me Peter, so I've got it in my brain, you know. For so those of you out there, Pete. the guy who has the Peter higher Ken. voice is Pete. Pete. The lower Pete, voice Pete, Pete. is Peter. Thank you, John Stewart. Thank you, Michelle Davis. Thank you, Gene Woods. And thank you, Chef Michael, for being here. Yeah, yeah. Every day. Every day. Thank you, everybody, for being on the show. And we will see everybody here tomorrow again, Monday through Friday. We are here on KLAV. And our call-in number is 702-731-1230. We want to thank all of our listeners and callers that call in to win the free show tickets that we have from all of our great shows. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Lady. Get out of the bathroom, please, and call me. <laughs> Yay! 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 We're gonna kiss just as before.